Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I'm Frozen Melon, and we can do a silent run because I haven't done one of those in a while. We are playing some more Slay the Spire. We did quite well in the last one. Um, <laughs> managed to completely break the game, which was kind of interesting. Eh, yeah, drawing two cards at the start is kind of meh. One potion, 50 gold, raise a max health, obtain one card. And upgrade a random card. Not bad start. Uh, quick slash is interesting. We'll take a dagger spray though. Because it's just AoE and AoE is pretty decent. As we've got some early gold, it might actually be worth going straight to a shop. So let's go do that. But how are we all doing? I mean, for me, nothing much has changed. I am still doing the prep work for when I go away for the weekend. And a few extra days, maybe. We don't know. Probably at least like three days, maybe kind of three and a bit. Which, probably heading off in like the next like hour or so. So I want to try and grab this and uh, get this out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a noxious fumes. See if we get poison built going. Yeah, upgrade two random cards, why not? I'll lose some health for that. While they plans, retain one card. Hmm. Mayhem is interesting, but I can't get it, so. Eh. 50 cent discount on all products. I'll pick that up. But getting that now is huge for a discount later on. At no point going to the next shop, because I can't do anything there, so we'll try and take the Elite down. But yeah, the last run we did, I advise anyone to go and watch that, because that was a really good run for the um, Defect. and It's one of the reasons why I like playing it, but I know for a fact that I never get that lucky normally with that run, so... Yeah, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. We'll accept what we can get, you know? Uh, toss that one... No, toss the dagger spray here, I think. Uh, the cheat defend. Put Noxious Fumes up, and then we'll defend again. Like, the thing keeps defending, so there's no point worrying about anything else. We can just kill him next turn. Um, a single deadly poison. I do like a single Deadly Poison, it does round the poison up pretty quick as well. Oh cool. So... Dagger Spray first, Neutralize kills that off. Apply the Deadly Poison, and check a Defend out. So we just take half the damage from this. Now I want to get like good defensive tools really more than anything else. That is on my list of stuff to do. And that will be the plan. Take the potion. Backflip's interesting. It does help me draw cards as well. A poison stab helps stack up poison also as an offensive option. Uh, I guess I'll pick that up. Hmm. I'm just going to end turn here. This is the elite fight, isn't it? Yeah, cool. That's what I wanted. I'll get the stun off then. The main thing was to get the... Uh, Poison ready to be stacked, essentially. Uh, toss the strike, put a defend up, an attack. We'll try to go like a poison build. The good old classics, you know? Uh, double defend up here. And just single strike. Oh. 
As long as we get like a good defensive set, we should be fine. No matter what ends up happening afterwards. Just neutralize and put the up. Like we start off with extra health as well because of this. Which is not that bad. Uh, survivor, toss the strike, put the defense up, and then attack, put some more poison on. Because poison can't be reduced in damage, it can be not applied, which is kind of annoying. But in most cases, it's uh, just it's basically just true damage. <laughs> uh, blur, I like blur um, quite a lot actually. And let's go here, see what we can get. Everything is half price, so it is pretty good. Start combat with some defense. Hmm. Hmm. Triple and he's poison, double their poison. I like the um, footwork actually, for that particular reason. We'll remove a card, and so at this point we'll start removing some of the lower end strikes because we really probably keep defense. Do you want a dodge roll? Should have got that, but I think a dodge roll is pretty good. I would love to get a catalyst, but dodge roll with the footwork um, is really good. Because it helps me set up more defenses. I'll look at that. Probably should have used the potion and stuff. Because now I can't use that skill without giving them attack and stuff, you know? I guess we'll just drink this and spend everything and next skill we play twice. Yeah, that's fine actually. Double poison them. Defend, defend, attack. I take two damage, but I ran to the poison enough where hopefully you should be able to kill him pretty quick. Might regret my decision now, but draw five cards. Randomizes everything, so can we get a kill or can we defend? Neutralize Survivor. I guess we're tossing back scat play it. Dodge roll would seem pretty good, but I must just play the defend in that case. Yeah. Get as much defense up as I can. And then hopefully we can deal, like, some damage. There we go. Ooh. Game one intangible. That could be pretty good. So I turn to draw a card. It's got a card. Outmaneuver. I do like an outmaneuver, actually. Because it can be decent setup. But. Tools of the Trade is just way too good to pass up. And I want to go to the rest spot if I can. Because we're reaching that point. Every time I play three attacks, gain four block. I'll take that. It's better than nothing. Probably not when playing many attacks, though. Hmm. One defend is not enough, but I need to play it. Then poison you, so at least that's dealt with. That's one down. And I defend kind of enough for these. This guy I want to take care of, but... I might just use the intangible on the turn that he goes for his big attack. It's probably going to be the most effective way of dealing with it. Um, dodge roll, defend. So we actually kind of maybe save a lot of damage here. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy the weekend. You know. Yeah, we're just going to use the intangible drink here. I don't want to take that much damage. 
That technically kills her off over two turns, so I don't have to worry about it. Set that up so I actually get other stuff, and then just put the survivor, because nothing better to do. Oh yeah. We already discard a guy like game three, so we could go for a discard deck. Hmm. Neutralize you. Strike. Noxious fumes, blur, because it's going to be defense, and just play that. That I don't have to worry about, so we're fine. Uh, just toss that single defense. Dagger spray. So that's nearly dead. Do the attack on there, then just defend. Not bad. Not bad at all. We should have to kill this off next turn. Stab. <laughs> yeah, but I am kind of looking to it. Ah, that would be great if you were going for that. But I'll take another dodge roll, to be honest. Because the stacking of the footwork is really useful. Um, I'll take a heal here, just to make sure that we're safe. Rather than an upgrade. We've got the Elite coming up as well. That's pretty good, actually. Straight away on this. And then just go dodge roll. Into a defend? Or to blur? Oh, it's good to blur. Doesn't really do anything, but it's both the same thing. This dies next turn. Then we can focus on the rat. That's what we can do. Uh, noxious fumes, put the block up, and then attack you a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to going camping again with some mates, and it's going to be fun. We're going to have a great laugh, and we're going to enjoy it, and you know. So, this is why I like this and dodge roll, because you basically just get double the uh, block from it for like one turn, next turn. So, yeah, footwork and Dodge roll is pretty good. A yeah, pretty good combo. And we've done that. I am no means an expert at the game, but I do enjoy the game. And then the poison stab. Do we take a leg sweep? It's pretty good. Like, we can block. Yeah, I'll take a leg sweep. Why not? Hmm. I guess we're going to do that and then play the strike. Maybe try and kill this guy off first, if I can. No, we're going to get weak and we're not going to be able to do it, are we? Um, neutralize. Dagger spray. Dodge roll is kind of better than just playing that, because at least get, like, stuff for the next turn as well. Try and deal four damage to that. Get more luck as well. The weak is what the worst part about it is there. Did we lose the weak? Cool, we lost the weak. And he's trying to defend, so he's trying to run away. Uh, tools of trade is just free to play. I would like to try and kill him, but I think it's a waste. And then blur. Well, my poison stuff got put at the bottom, and now I can't kill him because he's going to gain like 10 armor or something. Oh, 6 armor. Maybe we can get through that. Maybe we can get through that. Plus, up the defend here. So, poison stab. Poison. Strike. Not enough. Disappointed. 4 damage off. If it weren't for this, I'd probably been alright. The weakness on it was just too detrimental. We can dust the slimes, we can dodge roll. Um and defend.
But yeah, I've been a few coming through times, and we kind of just like, you know, we kind of take it easy, as it were. I am not a person who cares about luxuries very much, which reflects in kind of my lifestyle. You know, I enjoy games, stuff like that, but it's not a necessity. I can live without them if I'm required to. So going camping is something I really do enjoy, where it's just kind of like just me and nature. Ooh, another ghost in the jar. Another noxious fumes, and that is upgraded. I will take that. Passive poison is the best poison. The only thing about the noxious fumes is I kind of wish... Uh, um, blur, dodge roll, and then I guess we'll set up a strike up. I kind of only wish that... Um, Noxious Fumes applied itself twice, separately, rather than it being a, like, one entire thing, you know? Noxious Fumes is a good thing to set up. That does get rid of the intangible, but so does this as well. That's what we're going for, and it deals damage. I take a bit of damage in return, but that's fine. Could have used the Ghost in the Jar. So this gets poison, they don't. I guess we use the footwork, noxious fumes, and then defend. So now we deal five poison to them every turn. This is why I want to go for a more defensive build with poison. Turns will take ages, which probably means I might have to delay me leaving. <laughs> I have probably planned this terribly, but I can... Should be able to do some of the editing... Before... I leave. Or at least I can set the editing up and then... Just, yeah, upload it from my phone on the way. <laughs> ah... Gotta love, uh... Remotes working type stuff. It's way too good. Like, I don't use it very often, and when I do, um, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Just a remote connection to my network at home. In fact, I could just log in and then access all the stuff I need to access is just brilliant. We'll double defense, and then just strike that for no reason, because why not? Doesn't mean I might have to leave the laptop running, but... Dagger spray, piercing whale, eh, don't really care about any of these, so we'll just skip. What's our boss we're facing? The slime. Okay, so I will rest here. I would have liked to have got an upgrade or something. Eh, it's not less health. But it won't make a difference, so... I guess we just end turn. Hmm. I guess double dodge roll... Apply the weak there, apply that one, and then that one. That way we at least get 12 block next turn. That's what, again, like about dodge roll and blur is you can play them on turns where it doesn't matter and still get some of the uh, effects back. So we can double defend, then just single strike. We blocked their entire 26 damage on their slam. Brilliant. Uh, double Noxious. Do the tools of the trade. And then I guess we'll do a Poison Stab. Could have gone Blur to have some block for next turn, but... Like, it's not going to make much of a difference. Um, I don't need the Leg Sweep here, because I think it's going to happen. We're just going to go full out attack and deal as much damage as possible here. Oh. 
that way they split, and then next turn they'll, they'll, they'll get five poison them straight away. Of course, toss one slam away. Um, we'll toss that, toss that, and then just play the blur, I guess. So I have the defense for next turn. It would have been nice if we could do like the transfer of poison, so I could like, get this to split first. But I don't know if the poison transfers when they split. Uh, we'll toss the slime away. I guess we'll play a slime and do a dodge roll. And then do we just deal full damage to this to try and make sure it goes first? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows indeed? Um, we're gonna get rid of the slime again. So here we want to deal as much damage to him as possible. But also Charles still trying to defend. Right. So this is on 19, that gets split. That's I could have probably dealt damage to that, stop this damage coming through, but we actually could defend it anyway. That one's going to take the damage anyway, so we need to worry about it. Leg sweep's too expensive. I guess we'll neutralize you to deal less damage. Survivor, to get rid of the slime. We'll attack again, and then defend. And this is what I mean by, like, the poison pills can be so useful. It's like it's one of my favorite builds in any game, and I and I kind of um, <laughs> uh, I, I I am the uh, poison fanatic when it comes to uh, any sort of RPG games or stuff like that. I just go absolutely mad for them, you know. So that dies. We could defend a little bit. We got some defense, so I guess just playing a block here is fine. The main reason that um, I'm fascinated with poison builds uh, is mainly because they're just so entertaining, you know? Like, I do like the way the poison here is implemented. The fact that it just builds over time and you kind of got to stack it and you do get that. Um, gaining one block is pretty good. Malaise is also pretty good, though. Like making them lose X strength. I need more energy for that, though, I think. Uh, do I play enough for After Image to be useful? I guess block stacking is fine. I'll pick it up. Uh, pyramid's fine. Transform three cards. Remove two cards from my deck. What would I remove? A strike and a defend, more than likely. Or I could try and get the cards I want to fill this out, which yeah, transform and upgrade three cards. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, the strike, a defend, and hmm, another defend. Let's go. Gripping cow, pretty good. Let's go to that bottom. In venom, it's not bad. And distraction. Yeah. Oh, actually, that that is a pretty good um, pretty good change. Now let's see. We got a good shop early. Let's do that. So we'll go there. Both thieves. I hate thieves. Oh, let's go for a distraction. Deflect. After image. Defend. Defend. Would like to get more energy though, but you know, the astrolabe's fine. Uh, we're not killing these, I don't think. To my knowledge, I just don't see it. I will use an intangible here and just put the blur up. So that way I don't take too much damage early. Um, Noxious Fumes is pointless. 
And Venom's okay, deals some extra two damage on these and stacks it up. We can do a neutralize on this one and a strike. Doesn't get the kill, but they're both gonna run away anyway. Close. Oh, that does get the kill, on it? It gets the kill next turn. This one, though, I don't get the kill on. <laughs> it has 11 block. Um, leg sweep is pointless. Strike, deadly poison. And then I guess... Yeah. This gets poison, get some gold back, but not all of it. How annoying. Cattle Chops is playable in this deck. Again, I'm going to be defensive, so any extra damage I can get from other sources is still pretty good. After Image. I guess we'll set the Noxious Fumes up, so that's what we can do a passive damage and then a defend. It is the way we go about it. Uh, Leg Sweep is just fine here. I should have used footwork first, but it is what it is. Use it now anyway. We're in for the grind, folks. We're in for the grind. Crippling clouds. Do a dodge roll. Neutralize you as well. <laughs> It is hilarious that I'm dealing as much damage as I do. The uh, Carl Trops is great here. Dodge roll. Second Noxious Fumes. I guess the uh, blur would have been better there, but you know. A distraction. Malaise. just like weaken them completely. It's the only reason I don't pick up Malaise early is the fact that most of the time it just doesn't do enough, you know? Like it's a really good card but I just don't have the energy generation and if I had that I probably would be doing it. Bouncing Flask is exactly the card I was looking for. It would be nice if it was upgraded but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Another footwork, that is brilliant. Mummified hand, thank you very much. I am not going to say no to that. And, uh. Give me the power potion because that'll make something cost zero as well. Proceed. So we've got a decent setup. Because we can just go this. We can play the strike now. I should just do that on that. Noxious fumes. Into the bouncing flask. <laughs> and then in Venom. <laughs> Mummified hand, you're so great. We take a bit of damage, but that's fine. Uh, we'll keep that for later. Distraction first, bouncing flask again. Um, dagger spray, so that gets killed off. Then a roll, and then defend. So we defend fully against that. Not bad. Yeah, but mummified hand's going to be way too good. Ah, okay, we didn't defend because we got vulnerable on it. My mistake. Neutralize, crippling cloud, and strike. Again, we take a bit more damage, but it's, again, it's fine. They are practically finished. Uh, defend, blur, survivor. And turn. Full defense. And I forget that we got that whenever you just cut a card, gave three health, three defense. I don't need to do anything. Send turn. But now I kind of want more of the. Um, Are they plans? It's another power. Yeah, sure. We are the power build. 
So what I want is more of the Tools of the Trade plus, because that's free, which will cause me to have more free stuff. Get jaxed. Eh. Slight use of contact with strength in the street. Any time they're on three strength. Eh, just mutagens. Mutagenic strength. We'll get jaxed. Nah, we'll just get transform two cards. Um. Now, as we're kind of changing away from certain particular styles, and Venom can go, because it's just not what I want. And technically, Distraction can go as well. I got Paired and Die, Die, Die. That's pretty good. I'm here, I will Smith, though. And I would like... Nah, uh, I get that upgrade from just the footwork by itself. Pad could be interesting. Noxious Fumes helps kind of stabilize stuff, and I think it's probably the best one for me. 3 week 14 block. Eh. Neutralize upgrade. I guess getting my defense more defensive is just better in general. And we'll worry about that first before we worry about anything else. Ooh, Stabby Book. Wish I kind of upgraded the cattle drops for this, but you know. Is what it is. Play this first. Passing oh, class gets free. <laughs> Footwork. Into the dodge roll. Into the defend. That's what I love about the mum mummified hand. It is so good in that power centric deck. Oh, look at this, I just get to start off with just playing something for zero, do that, play the prepared, or just discard that, I guess. Play this, that's not zero. Like sweep you. Only if Blur was up. Um, I guess Dagger Spray is going here. Uh, neutralize, just because neutralize is free. Well they plans, noxious fumes, into blur, into survivor. We, my friends, are extremely defensive. This will take ages for us to accomplish what we need to accomplish, but we will accomplish it. Um I wanna keep dodge roll, keep the defend, we'll just toss the normal strike out because it is not what we need. So dodge roll first, now we're should be good for any of the defense going forwards, and then just stack up poison. Keep both those cards. Got 11 block. That's why I think like footwork is such a, a good improvement on what I currently do. Um, discard that. Actually, no, that's fine. I guess the strike. So, footwork first. Play the defense. We're now pretty much fully defended. Play the cattle drops, which will probably end up just killing our opponent. Crippling cloud. Neutralize. Die, die, die. And we'll keep that. <laughs> Not bad at all. The Cention Tenion puzzle is pretty good. Sucker Punch is not bad. Expertise is interesting, but none of these really scream at me like I want to pick them up. Um, I guess we'll go here and upgrade something. Now this is kind of what I want to get as much defense as possible out of cards, I guess. So like dodge roll upgrades are going to be more important to begin with, so at least I get like 12 block from them, plus the extra bonuses from other stuff. Two curses being removed is pretty useful. Hmm. Noxious fumes. After image. Da da da. Then put on the deadly poison. And there's no point playing this, so I can't play anyway. So at least we've got the poison stacking straight away. But yeah, I've always been a big fan of um, play this first, then play Dagger Spray, 
Defend, Footwork, Hunter Bouncing Flask. I've always been a big fan, as I said before, just like yeah, chilling out and relaxing. And it doesn't really matter what the weather is like when that happens to me. I just enjoy the overall process of uh, spending that time like that, you know? That's kind of more important in the long run for me. Got a troll. Play the blur. Are we fully defended? We are. So poison stab you. I said, I don't think that, like, I, I, I would love to spend probably about a couple of months of the year just away from all the technology and everything else that goes on in the world, you know? Because I don't think you could ever really get away from it as much as you would like. Just weaken you. And, like, being able to spend that time just away from the world, almost like hibernating. <laughs> it would be just great. At least for me. Not sure it would be for other people, but I'd enjoy it. You know? And then just defend. Retain those two. You know, just somewhere out the way where it's you are kind of like completely self-sufficient as well, but it involves you having to kind of like do the work for it. You know, so you have to go out, gather your firewood, stuff like that, and then just like, you know, get all the prep work done. Like it's a lot of work and a lot of effort, but it's something I do enjoy. Like planning your meals and stuff. Deals double damage. Now to get another poison stab. Why not? At this point, stacking poison is what we do. Um, while they plans. Defend. After image. Noxious fumes. Survivor. We don't fully defend, but you know, this will trigger. And then we'll get some extra cards to play, and then we can use this to get another power. So that is the way we'll go about it. Um, noxious fumes or cutoff drops. Noxious fumes. We'll play that first. Now we'll play this. Then the footwork. Then we'll neutralize you, because you're dealing the most damage first. Then deadly poison you. Um, leg sweeping could be the most important thing here, actually, rather than doing the bouncing flask. Just so the fact that we can, uh, like, have enough defense to keep surviving. Even though I'd love to stack up poison. Shame that the powers didn't land on the card, but, you know, the powers that be... <laughs> Decided you weren't allowed. Yeah, the vulnerable is what I wanted to avoid, but. Uh, toss the prepared away. Gives me some block, that's pretty good. I uh, guess we are. Dodge roll. Onto the blur. We should do noxious fumes here. Well, that's dead next turn anyway. If we could just stab that, that's fine. So that's dead, and then we're fully defended on both of those. Keep both of these. Just so again we can start stacking poison on these two. So the moment they don't do an attack is pretty much a chance for us to be able to do it. We fully defend against one. Shut the dagger spray out, because it's not really great. Play the power. Play that power. Play the strike. Play this power. Nah. Play the dodge roll. And then stab. <laughs> Wish I could have played the bouncing flask. <laughs> uh, but this is not the standard poison style I always go for. 
you know, defensive tools and just like stacking poison consistently. And then just like other card draw and hold potion bots pretty good. Another dodge roll. Yeah, I'll do that. An upgraded one as well. The main reason I like it so much is just because it's just really useful. Strike. Guess we'll dagger spray. Them do this. This should get rid of a lot of the uh, artifact stuff. You got poisons, so that's really good. You got colors potion. Two potion slots. We can really stack potions up. Now oh, look at that. I guess play everything for free here. <laughs> Quite literally, play everything for free. Not fully defended, but it's fine. You know, beggars can't be choosers and all that. I'm going to toss the prepared away, because that's pretty much what it's useful for at the moment. Uh, we play the, the footwork for free. Oh, get a nice defend. Guess we'll just uh, die, die, die. Which is pretty good. And should I play? No, we need to defend, we need to defend. Just make sure. Like, we got the poison stuff anyway, so. Like, this will get poisoned over time. Now, we'll poison it with these, and it'll be down for damage. Uh, dodge roll might keep. Noxious fumes is too slow here. Um, do that. We are fully defended here. There we go. Uh, keep the other dodge roll on the blur. That's the other thing I like having is keeping the blur around and then the dodge rolls as well. Like once you've got your poison set up going, because you can alternate between the two. If you want to. It's like 33 block doesn't do anything. You can block as much as you want. Bat flip's interesting, but we'll leave those cards. Let's fight. I am not playing around here. Um. Neutralize you. But work. Crippling Cloud. And this is not a boss fight, so I'll save my potion. It gets draw. Dexterity down. Shame that. Hmm. Survivor as well, add on. So we'll do this first because this is probably the most effective. I guess we'll play the survivor and toss the bouncing class because we're not playing that anytime soon. Um, poison stab will deal with this guy, and poison stab will deal with that guy. You guys really shouldn't have fought me. And we've got the red mask. Nice. And another ghost of the jar. <laughs> oh, another noxious fumes. Yes, please. We're getting all the ghosts in jars today. Ah, the minion build. Noxious fumes. Um, after image. Kel drops. Dodge roll. Defend. Not quite fully defended, but we got a good setup going. These guys will hit themselves and kill themselves, and then we're pretty much good. Okay. Do you have a power setup? Do play this first. What do we get free? We get die to die. That's all free. There we go. Um, footwork. I would like to save the crippling cloud to be honest, but if I just play it for free to put poison on the field, I get to play it for no poison and more poison is poison, so poison. <laughs> uh, it makes no sense, does it? But yeah, I'm always a big fan of passive damage used to prepared here. Toss the strike away while they plans. 
because we get something for free. I, I'm fine with saving this stuff for the boss at the end, so okay, it's, it's way too good here for me to uh, just leave it, because like, you're already set up for the win. Molten Egg will tax. Fairy in a bottle. Nice revive. Cool. And another Poison Stab. Yes, please. Why not? I might stop with the Poison Stab now, to be honest. I think I've got enough. I'm right, facing off against the Knight. Oh, the Champ. So, after a match. Footwork. Strike. Not just few. Strike. Panacea, finesse. From your drop part into your hand, violence. Yeah, I picked that up. So he can't use his thing he's gonna do here. Footwork. Dodge wrong. Um, I would like to play the loud wildlife plans, but it doesn't really do much here. I guess it does. Uh, deadly poisons. It, I go for the play I was going to do anyway. And we keep that and that. Got some good defensive tools. This is just going to be used whenever I get a free turn to use it. That's applicable. Leg sweep will probably be used here now. Just to weaken him even further. Play the cattle drops to get a free card, and then we can play this. Cool. And keep survivor and the defend. Have to get rid of those strikes at some point as well. At some point. Eventually we'll get rid of them. Ah, oh, bouncing flask. You beauty. Keep the neutralized stacked up, and then just guess defend once and end turn. I am loving this build so far. Not as, uh, as entertaining as the lightning build <laughs> we had last time, but still just as good in its own way. Um, because this is technically bad compared to that, um, yeah, we'll toss that instead. I guess we're using this first, get a free dodge roll, it's all set up. Blur does mean I get to carry over some extra blocks, so we'll play it. And then, again, stacking up extra poison is a good thing to do. I mean, I could have just done dodge roll, but we've got defensive tools coming our way anyway. Look at that 15 block extra. Uh, toss the prepared, because that's all it's good for. Noxious fumes again with the setup. <laughs> Another free bouncing flask. Ah, uh, you cannot write this stuff. Um, we're only taking 13, so there's no point wasting, like, good cards here. Or we'll just keep them there. Look at that, six on decks as well. So I think this is the turn that he gets rid a lot of the uh, poison. So what I want to do here is blur, defend. Does he get rid of poison? I don't know. I think he does. Or is that just the, the one boss I faced before? But before I used to heal and then remove all the poison. I I remember that mechanic from ages ago from like when I first started playing this game. Uh, da, 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 da. Leg sweep's too expensive, and it's not really useful here. Poison. 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 And dodge roll, strike. Uh, double dodge roll. To be honest, I could have not healed. There we go, I thought it was. My bad. Turn too early. Uh, dagger spray is not going to be good here. So, we can you first. Cool. Then, guess we'll dodge roll. 
into dodge roll. And then survivor. And now toss the strike. So I am fully defended. <laughs> I could have always sort of played the intangible there, but if I can defend, why not just defend? So much easier. Uh, toss that defense out, we don't need it. Again, just stack up poison. Keep both of those. And we should be good to go next turn. Uh, leg sweep is meh, because we're going to deal enough damage anyway. There we go. Lost two down. Yeah, I'm going to send a message out to say that we are going to delay everything. That's pretty good, actually, in the Wrath image. Attacks that cost zero deal four additional damage. Gain energy. Uh, yeah, actually, that's fine. Because I got the Omori to prevent curses, so a chest will not give me a curse anymore. Um, I would like a shop, but I would not like a shop with a enhanced elite. So is there a second shop? There is a second shop later. That is great news, but I have to go on that path. So I guess going here then to the middle left. Ah, these guys, brilliant. I can sack up defense, I can do whatever I want. I get two block per turn now, just by playing a card every single time. So I can play at least like four cards a turn, which is kind of mad when you really think about it. Or even more some cases. You get the weakness, just toss the prepared out. I shouldn't have tossed the prepared out. I guess it is like three block. Dagger Spray is too good, Crippling Cloud does add poison to everyone else, and we can neutralize kind of the worst one out of that. Stack more poison on you, and play on everyone. Okay. I've let everyone know I'm going to be running late. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to get the mix taken out of me for it as well. Um, do I keep the defense here? I've got a blur. Deadly poison is probably the worst one to toss, so... Uh, poison stab you. Not that we remembered. Yeah, I forget we got the cattle drops. So that's like plus five damage already. Level, like, level that. Um, nah, I don't need any of those. Like, we've got enough. I don't need to draw more cards. And let's go down this question mark line, shall we? Yeah. Yes, apparently just try to show to the boss. Why not? <laughs> let's skip everything and try and do the most stupid thing possible. And leg sweep you. There we go. Fully defended. Turn one. The strength gain is going to be annoying, but not much I can do about it. Um, well, they plans. Footwork. Die, die, die. Noxious fumes. Defend. Like, generally, I was like, that's a bit surprising. But yeah, this build is, should be fine. Like, I don't see why I should lose. So why not just go straight to the boss, you know? That's kind of why I wanted to land on. Blur. Bouncing Flask. Um, 
Do the dodging. Set the poison up on you. Block again. In turn, keep this. Because, might as well keep it. Hmm. 16 times 2, hey? Toss the prepared, we don't need that. Play the color drops. Play the footwork. Defend, because why not at this point? Tiger spray. Strike. Strike. Uh, the madness continues. Like, the good news is, is this deck is actually good enough to, um, do all this stuff, right? Poison weakens everything there. Play the dodge roll. Um, I haven't fully defended, so we'll fully defend here. And keep this. Like, it's surprising that I'm this strong this early to actually just literally skip the entire, like, rest of the uh, third level. <laughs> and let's go straight to the boss. Uh, toss the days, I don't really care. Use you on that, so you get the weaken. I thought you had the weaken on you already. Um, 28, so I am fully defended. So we can go a little bit more on the offense here. And keep a defend, and a other defend. Like, this keeps taking, like, 10 a turn as well, which I think... Yeah, that comes out of there. Defense, and I get defense. Uh, toss the days, because I don't really care about it. Uh, dodge roll up first. I'm going to play the Bouncing Flask. Try and stack more poison. This is dead anyway. Do another dodge roll, so next turn we should be good. Keep the strike and the defend plus. That's it, circle of power. Keep doing your thing. Uh, toss a days. Uh, just dodge roll, lure, defend, and then, yeah, strike blast you down. There we go, done. <laughs> I guess I didn't need to send that message, but... <laughs> It's fine. Not the strongest of runs, but you know, it was an easy one to deal with overall. And we got some more unlocks. And yeah, the ascension level's gone up also. So, what did we unlock this time around? Art of War, the Courier, and also Pandora's Box. Interesting. I like that run. That was good. That was fun. You know? A poison build to round everything off. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I will see you when I get back from my time away. <laughs> Alright, take care.